In today's episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast, we're talking about Star Wars and how I think it's the most overhyped franchise in existence. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host Dakota, here with my co-host Jordan, and like I said, I was just thinking this week, I... Well, how did we get into this conversation? I don't even know how we got, I think I was just one time thinking, I was like, I see people post stuff in the Star Wars group, the new season of Mandalorian was going on, and I was just like... I think I might have been talking to you also about that new Star Wars Fallen Order oh, yes. Jedi game. So I yes. was picking that up. And then you took it upon yourself to enlighten me <laughs> as to the true nature of the Star Wars franchise, in your opinion. Yes. Which I think I've always known that you weren't like a huge Star Wars fan. Mm-hmm. I just... I, I do agree with you. I think it's a interesting topic amongst the... Uh, the comic nerd community is how do you feel about star wars yeah so i so will Dakota, say without further ado oh my, okay my yeah. opinions do not reflect jordan's opinions so right just because i'm about to say what i'm about to say doesn't mean you should unsubscribe boycott cancel the strong collectors because jordan will tell me i'm wrong and i will hear none of it um but but i'm gonna let dakota go on a uh <laughs> i don't know if i call it a rant Perhaps yeah, a tirade, yeah. maybe a rant on what Dakota revealed to me <laughs> the other day about his thoughts of Star Wars, so I'll just let him take it. All right, so like I said in the intro, I have come to the realization that I believe that Star Wars is the most overhyped franchise in existence. Nothing else even comes close because Star Wars has grown to this like massive fandom and I've realized that I don't understand why. Like, we have the original three movies, which I will give you for the time. Maybe you're like, no, Dakota, when these movies came out, this was groundbreaking technology. We've never seen crappy CGI or lasers like that before. And it's like, okay, I understand. If you're like an older fan and that was like, you saw that, uh, the movies for the first time and your mind was just blown and you're a Star Wars fan. All right, fine. I understand we could have some like Star Wars fans like that. But if you're our age and you were like episode one, two, and three was coming out, then like, I don't, I've never understood people that like the original three over any of the new stuff from a visual standpoint, because it's all, it just, it looks old. Um, And it's not like (laughs) Terminator or any of those other movies that came out are at the same level of franchise success as Star Wars. So it's like. Well, you had said to me, you said the coolest thing about Star Wars is the lightsaber, and they yes. haven't, and, and, and you, as you said, have never really delivered. Right until like on, I will give you yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. That lightsaber fight with Darth Vader was pretty cool. So there is one good lightsaber fight in all <laughs> of the five hundred movies and TV shows from star wars and like i won't give like maybe the animated because i've never watched the clone wars and i'm sure they could probably do like decent animation um but all the live action lightsaber fights are just a big snooze fest i think like this is supposed to be what the franchise is built on everybody's like oh i've got luke skywalker's lightsaber or whatever and it's like where was the cool lightsaber fight like all they do is block bullets and like kind of fight but not really so like the old stuff super boring lightsaber fights the new stuff a little bit better technology a little better look but still pretty boring Eh. like if if star wars was based on the fact that it's like um like battlestar galactica where it's like we're just going space travel blasters (laughs) even the bounty hunter stuff like mandalorian boba fett those are cool and that's like Star Wars is on par or better than other shooter movies. <laughs> but then when you try to tell me that like everything is based on a lightsaber and you can go to Disney World and build your own lightsaber, for what? Why? I mean, I think, at least for me as a kid, and I think I would still say now, is the coolest thing about Star Wars is the world. 
the world building. I think you could imagine your like when you play Battlefront. Yeah, I remember no, I will that say, game. You Battle go to all the different two. planets. You that, get into all yeah. the different battles. Mm-hmm. I mean, being a Jedi in that game was like the most fulfilling sensation, where you just whip but, out your lightsaber and just go again, to town. How did you get to and that you're point? Saying, how how did we get to mean? the point of? Because I I will give you. I think Battlefront Two is probably my favorite video game. I would I would maybe say my favorite video game ever made. Like I have a lot of good memories playing that. That was super fun. Going to the different planets, choosing your characters. That was fun. I loved it. But like, how did we get there with junk movies? Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> like it, it never should have gotten to the point where they had the opportunity to make the best video game ever. I mean, if you compare like other sci-fi's at the time yeah. to what star wars was it, it it to me it was like there were superhero movies and then like the mcu kind of came and was like true this is how you do it all right i think there had been some sci-fis that people were like these are good but i think star wars kind of was like this is the formula this is how you should make a cool a cool like ensemble okay world where it mm-hmm had drama some action i mean the music i think is a big thing john williams i mean if they hadn't had john williams music i do agree i think the history may have been a little bit different because it just also is what made it so iconic but i i would give you if like if like i grew up watching four five and six Mm -hmm. like right as episode one probably was coming out because I remember watching those when I was real young. And I, I always preferred 4, 5, and 6, but I grew up watching them. Mm-hmm. So if I were to see them for the first time today, would it have the same impact? Probably not. So, I mean, I think part of it also depends on if you were, like, introduced to those. At True. A- yeah, and I don't. I didn't watch those original three probably... Like I didn't sit down and like watch all the way through until I was probably twenty or older, so. And but but by that time you probably like knew the, yeah, stories and plots. But that's what I'm saying. Like that. anybody alive today should know that like Luke, I'm your father. So it's like, like I feel like, like I think my uncle was even trying to tell me like, oh, just wait till you get to the like, the big twist in this movie. And I was like, what do you mean like Darth Vader is Luke's father? Like that's not a mystery to anybody. Everybody knows that. So. I guess maybe if you were watching it like original, like I said, if you were one of the originals watching it, you'd be like, "What? That's his dad? No way!" Yeah. But well, I, 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 I will also agree with your point. I think the concept of the Jedi, and by extension, a lightsaber, is a very cool concept that I think has sustained Star Wars and kind of carried it through a lot of iterations. But I do mm-hmm. agree even on the big screen we haven't really seen or even the silver screen i guess tv the um execution of like i think that's why i think you'd like these new star wars games the fallen Mm. order ones because you're like part jedi part smuggler part you know trying you're not like the stuffy jedi that are sitting around in the council but you're not like you know, Luke and the new ones where you're just on an island by yourself. Like he's running around trying to do stuff and okay, it's got the force, but it's like, he's not following, you know? So I think, yes, yeah, star Wars, I would say sparks your imagination, at least for mm-hmm. me as a kid. And it kind of made me interested in the nerd world, which then I, you know, dove headfirst into comics right. and Marvel and, and all yep. that stuff. So, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. I do. But I, I think Star Wars has more to offer than perhaps you're, yeah. you're given. The and I for. think, I mean, like, I'm not like, I'm not somebody that's like, oh, we should just get rid of Star Wars. It's not that cool. Like, right. Obviously, it's here to stay. And like, I can embrace and like, I can watch the movies and enjoy it for what it is. I just am surprised at the level of fandom that it has achieved. Like, it's got a would, whole would area you, in Disney World, and it's like, everybody knows Star Wars, and, like, I'm just surprised that that's what people decided to, like... Would you say you more just strongly, negatively negatively react to people who are like, you don't like Star Wars? I'm like, dude, Star Wars is awesome. Yeah. It's great. It's the best, like, 
Yeah. Like th- that feeling of not only you should like Star Wars, but like if you don't like it or you're not into it or don't appreciate it, you have bad taste or something. I think that always ups- when people do that, where it's like, this is so good that you better like it. Otherwise, it's <laughs> all right. What are you talking? It's like, well, just because you like it doesn't mean everybody has to like yeah. it. Yeah. And I that's guess. like, I don't think there's anything like I don't have any agenda with this. It's not like I'm trying to like make fans jump ship or anything. It's just like this was just a thought I had one day and I was like, yeah, not a huge fan. Don't understand the fandom. And like that can literally just end at my thought. But now that I have a podcast, I'm going to tell all you people about it. (laughs) (laughs) We're all going to know Dakota's thoughts because he has a microphone. Yeah. Um, But no, I think the video games are cool. I do actually want to read some of the comics now that I've got Marvel Unlimited. I'd like to maybe get into some of the Star Wars comics and like, I imagine they'll probably be good. So it's not like I, I can't see any good parts of Star Wars. I just think, like I said, it's a little overhyped for me. Like, to be at, like, the franchise level of, like, Marvel. Right. Are you saying? hmm Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean... It's not that I don't, I don't hate any Star Wars I mean, Wars you're fans. totally wrong, but, you yeah, know... Yeah, that, that's fine. <laughs> I've, I'm sure that people are going to let me know in the comments that I'm so wrong. I mean, I, I wouldn't say your your points are totally without merit, though. Mm-hmm. And I do think... That is the hard part with Star Wars is so much of it. And even George Lucas has said this, like, I intended Star Wars to be for kids, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which then you could get into the argument, okay, what is, how does that apply to comics? You know, a lot of comics are for kids, but there's a lot of comics that are distinctly, Mm -hmm. like, more adult-oriented, where Star Wars, at least the movies, have always had to tread that line of, like, appealing to kids but also appealing to adults, yeah. which I think can be somewhat difficult sometimes. For sure, yeah. And I, I understand, too, that like the idea of Star Wars is a lot easier to think than it is to like put on a screen because like I'm sure that's got to be like a nightmare to try to CGI all that stuff. And like there's just so much that's like in fantasy that's not real life that you would have to like... Mm-hmm create on a screen so that's where i think like animation would probably be more up their alley for like doing really cool lightsaber battles um and like there's other stories like that where like i'll read a book and i'm like oh man this would be so cool as a movie but then it's also like there's no way they could do it justice so that also could be part of the issue is like maybe the the the, the true star wars fans can see the vision and they don't need it to actually look like their vision on screen we have a thing called imagination, Dakota. Yeah. And that's use it. that's totally fine. I love I wish we could use a little bit more imagination. And so that that does that makes me question my own opinions because like with the Man of Steel movie and a lot of DC movies, it's all like world ending cataclysmic events where it's like, oh, we just leveled an entire city. It's like, well, okay, well, I didn't need us to like flatten New York for me to understand that this was like a big powerful villain. I can use my imagination right. and understand that they're strong without having to yeah. like destroy half the globe so who knows what i think anymore man <laughs> yeah no i mean I, I think that a lot but um <laughs> i i get where you're coming from i do think a lot of fans at least with seven eight and nine were put off to star mm-hmm. wars so you might have more people agreeing with you now than maybe you would have before and i okay. think i i can recognize the faults of star wars limitations where it could be improved certainly could be but you know for better for worse for me it's kind of what got me Mm -hmm. you know into comics and toys and all that kind of stuff so yeah but i I, I think my favorite star wars movies were rogue one and solo which like didn't have any lightsabers in it so maybe that was why i was like i didn't have the expectations of like oh man he's got a lightsaber there's gonna be something cool that happens it was like it was much more like blasters, spy movie, heist, that kind of vibes. Mm-hmm. And I think that was, that was more, I don't know. I was just, those were the ones that I liked the best. So I will say like, I, I do love some of the characters like Darth Maul looks awesome. Love the double lightsaber. I signed up to be Darth Maul at Disney world. I did that before I actually read it. said like, you could like sign up to be Darth Maul, but then it's like in parentheses, like must shave head. 
I skipped over that part, but they never called me to be Darth Maul. So luckily I didn't have to go bald, but it still would have been fun. Great doing it. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> um, all right. I think that's enough of my rant or tirade or whatever we're going to call this opinion piece. Um, like I said, my views don't necessarily reflect Jordan's, but I still believe in my opinions. Let me know <laughs> what your thoughts are in the comments. I'm sure if you haven't already, you're blasting me. Maybe you actually agree with me and you're like, I can't believe somebody finally said what we were all thinking. Uh, I'd be curious to know if there's <laughs> any of you out there, but I don't have my hopes too high. I, I'm probably alone <laughs> on this one, but let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, like, and share. And until next time, stay strong. Thank you.